Hey YouTube, how's it going? Oh, it's cold in here. I'm a delicate flower, so I gotta turn on the heat. And it'll make noise. Ah, uh, so I was out here earlier. How are you? And um, I lied to you last week. I uh, said I had a tool coming to pull these hubs, and it turns out I don't. Who, whatever company was selling me the drum puller on Amazon decided they didn't want to sell me it. They canceled my order. And that got me thinking, what if I could build this tool? And then I had all these ideas. I was supposed to be doing something else, and I kept the idea kept running through my head what it would look like. I was going to laminate a bunch of pieces of metal together with uh, plug welds, and, and I had this whole idea in my head. And then I started building it earlier today when I had some time, and I realized, you know, I could use the puller I already have with part of what I've already built. Let me show you. So, um, this is the existing puller. One of the existing pullers I have, I have this puller too. That's more for steering wheels and such. But this one, a little more heavy duty. And I built, I'll show you these. Look at what Stumpy did. Um, don't try this at home. I'm not even sure this is gonna work. But we're gonna keep the castle nut on there so we don't blow anything across the room. But I built these, I had some angle iron. Yeah, it doesn't look safe, look at that. I did a plug weld there and I welded onto the side of a bolt. And like, I'm not telling you this is <laughs> something you should go out and do, but we're gonna give it a shot. It's free, so far it's free. And free is the right part. See how these turn the wrong way to get them on? Like, look at that, doesn't that mess with your mind? Like, that's just, that's just all types are wrong. That the driver's side uh, lugs turn the wrong way on this car. Just messes with you. So we're going to leave those on there. Put this bad boy on. We're gonna find some nuts and washers. We're gonna try to pull this hub off. Stay tuned. It's gonna be exciting. All right, well, it's not quite centered. I don't know if it'll ever be, but we're gonna give a shot anyway. We left the castle nut on. What we're looking for is for this gap to close, I guess. There we go. Centered now. Oh my goodness. Place your bets. All right, we're moving up to the breaking bar. <laughs> Or the, this is the big rash. Holy cow. Something's got to get.
Oh, yeah. Stop moved. <clears throat> yeah, nothing good. Definitely a testament to my welding so far. Uh, I gave. That's a different one. <sighs> Fail number two broke right there. All right, so this is uh, this is drum puller 2.0. I've put a uh, welded. Some older lug nuts I don't need on there. So, give that a shot.
I've murdered the threats. Is the Hub Polar 3.0. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> That's hot garbage. Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, Stuffy here. It's uh, deep, deep into the week. And I got a video to do in a couple days here. And one of the biggest reasons I do them is keep me moving forward. I want to do something every week. And it's been tough this week. I, uh, I think I said this already, but I'll say it again. I was, I need to pull those uh, drums on those axles before I can do anything at all, basically, with them. And I had a tool ordered on Amazon, and the seller canceled it on me. And there's a couple other ones on there, but they got terrible reviews. It's just, people say they flake off, and they don't, they're not really heavy duty enough to do the job. So... And obviously, the stuff I've built for it is not working. <laughs> I had a very frustrating day Saturday trying to uh, get that uh, puller to work, and it did not. And then Sunday, I just didn't bother with it at all. I really couldn't, other than just spraying a little bit of penetrating oil in there a couple times, I just didn't deal with those hubs because those, it was just, I knew like my Saturday, if I got into it, it was going to be my day. And I was going to come out frustrated. So what I did is I start calling around this morning to these rental places, see if anybody had a drum puller tool. And then I forgot in doing so, I forgot it's 2020 and nobody has anything anymore. We're now living in a place where you really, maybe it's different where you are, but in Alberta, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, nobody really works on their cars anymore. So no one really rents automotive specialty tools that I could find. Uh, all these equipment rental places, it's all tampers and scissor lifts and uh, blowers and and stuff for drying out your basement in case you're in a flood. And I imagine those things are important, but I guess the market's not there anymore. And I caught one place, this uh, Double A Rentals in Calgary, and the guy had a slime, slide hammer tool. And then I called a couple of places, and the, the lady, what the lady said to me was, "Try Double A Rentals. They're the only." Quote, they're the only place that still has goofy automotive stuff. <laughs> so I ended up just going to a, a, a double eight rentals and maybe a great guy there. A really nice guy. And he was work, he's working with me and 
for a good price. He's given me three things that might work for me in a, a week's rental on them. So my goal now is to make him work. And I bought some better penetrating oil too. And uh, I have like the running man. Is it running man? No, it's marathon man. I have the marathon man list of tools for removing this hub and I'll show or this drum and I'll show you in a minute. And now my goal is to remove every drum in my world. I'm removing the drums for these two axles. And then I'm, I think I'm in part storage on Friday and Saturday morning. So I'm going to remove the drums from that car. Like every drum in my world, I'm going to pull in the next, in the, in the week that I have these tools. So by the end of this, I'll have every drum on deck. Cause you know, I realized on that axle that we're going to put back on this car too, both sides are left hand or uh, wrong way thread. So somebody's taken, so I think it's the drum that probably came from a swap meet with that Dodge 64 Dodge coming on up because it's not the driver's side, it's not the passenger side drum for that. Like that thing has two uh, backward thread uh, drums on it and they only should have backward thread drums on the driver's side. So three, at least three out of four drums on this car are backwards thread. And I'm thinking about knocking all those studs out and putting in proper uh, uh, lugs across this car because I'm done with backwards fretted. Like the appeal is off. I understand like I wanna be original as possible, but no one's gonna know. And it's goofy, it's goofy. So I'm sick of it. So not three out of four of my uh, wheels are gonna be backwards fret because some idiot is going to do something stupid and that idiot's probably gonna be me down the road. Oh yeah, I forgot it's big. So, I'll show you what I got here. I'm not using WD-40 anymore. I've stepped up from that. I've stepped up to this screw loose CRC product. I went ahead to TR6 out yesterday for a joy ride. And it was quite the joy. But the weather and me and my daughter washed her up yesterday. So it's looking quite nice. And I got the top down because tis the season for top down weather. So me and the little car got out for a little bit of a run yesterday. Uh, wasn't completely uneventful, but the car did fine. <laughs> it's operator is kind of a moron. So <laughs> anyway, this is, this is my, still my setup where I welded these studs to these, uh, set of, um, lug nuts that I'm not going to use. So all I'm doing right now is basically stretching these bolts and there's a lot of pressure on here. And then I've stripped the threads out of this thing. And then I welded a nut on there and tried to do it with this ready rod. And I promptly broke my handle off my ready rod. And my friend Sean brought me by another exactly same tool that he ended up acquiring from a, a disaster recovery project that he did. So before I just do the exact same thing to that, because it's the exact same tool, I went out and got my friend's Destructo here. So here's Mr. Slide Hammer. And that brings us to our first problem. And this is probably, the tool I got the most faith in, but look at that. So we don't reach the studs, but my thought is to put my, utilize my tools, my uh, uh, stud extension tools, lead ex extension tools here through there and try the slide hammer. So the slide hammer's here. And then we've got the jaws of destruction. Here, just a giant three-arm puller. Just makes you want to cry. Look at that thing. You want to mail that to your ex-wife. Holy crap, look at that. So, so yeah, I, that might do it. But it's also scaring the living crap out of me. So that might do it. And then we also got this guy, which is an actual drum puller from... Oh, back when they made tools. Cars. So this is a drum puller, and I'm a little worried about this depth, but we'll take a look at that. I'm not as worried as the other one. But it's a snap-on. This is a snap-on tool. And somebody's putting nuts in there. I can pull those off and make it right fit for the whole thing. But that's the other one. So we've rent I've rented those, and he's given me a week to mess around with them. I imagine he'd give me more days if I asked for it. Just a super nice guy. So try them all out and we'll go from there. So we've got those. So those are our tools of destruction going forward here. And uh, there'll be a video of that 
I'm also doing a deck project right now, and uh, I promised my wife certain parts of that project moving forward this week, so I'm just absolutely, absolutely wiped out today from working on deconstructing my deck for a good person today. But essentially, I put all my eggs in one basket because I really haven't worked on anything else this week. I could be painting up brackets and doing this and doing that, but I really think it's, you know, I can't get past the fact, even though I get all that stuff done, I can't drop an axle in. Because even if we get the axle, the drums off and get the axle housing painted, we can piss with the rest of it with it in the car. But I don't feel like we're there yet. So we gotta figure that out. Some more footage, stay tuned. That's probably what's coming up next on this is more footage of me trying to pull those drums off. And I hope it goes well. <laughs> those, those things scare me. But we have the tools of destruction. So we get to do a Pepsi challenge on which one of those is gonna work. I've got my money on either, well, the free draw, I don't know. I think it needs some blunt force. My problem is I think the slide hammer is the best bet, but being that, that uh, axles, none of those axles are in an actual car. I'm not sure that's gonna work because I'm just gonna end up dragging them across my garage. So that's my fear there. <laughs> so hopefully we'll let the penetrating oil do its bit. We'll uh, get those out. I don't know, that's gonna be a tomorrow night thing. Like I've already run out of time today and energy and uh, ambition. So that's where we are with that. So anyway, stay tuned. You'll see me next doing something silly. So out of our rental arsenal, this is the only one I can get to fit on there kind of so far. So we'll give this a shot.
Alright, day 464. I'm trying to pull these hubs. Let's give this one a shot. It's not the right break. This is a later style break. This thing is really been hodgepodge together. That's not right here. That's not bad. So that's not rock. What the hell is going on here? trapped in there. Oh, that's out. Crap. <laughs> I didn't record hammering the last one out, but I said not to be cute with it with the slide hammer. 
and just beat it with his hammer of Thor. But it's out. The last fucking axle's out. Jesus, Murphy. Holy crap, that, uh, that took a lot, that took a lot out of me, getting those out of there. I'm pretty impressed that uh, we got this all done. It's been a week of just failure, absolutely failure. I have failed all week, and I was really thinking that I was going to end up cutting axles to get things apart. And I was going to cut one to save this part, and cut another one to save that part. I'm so glad we didn't have to do that. So, yeah. Let's see what these axles are. I'm wiped. I'm out. I'm just done. I uh, I set aside today, and I know I'm day late. At least a day. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Shelby. Love you. But this was a rough week. Like I read to those things on Monday and I also had to tear a deck apart because we're getting a new deck put in or we're putting a new deck in. I'm not sure which one of those two things is happening. One of them is, but uh, I made my wife promise I'd have the deck torn out by Wednesday night, which was last night. And I started it Monday morning. That's when they've been arrived. So I hit that goal, but I got little, very little else done. But when I did, even yesterday when I worked on this, I just absolutely frustrating. The idea I had was the drum and the hub assembly was one assembly. All the videos I saw coming off YouTube of people pulling them, they pulled them as one. And I guess you could do that. But when I started pulling with the three arm puller, wherever it may be, uh, they started popping off the hub, which is more like a traditional break. Like I've seen that on Dodges all my life, uh, F bodies and C bodies. And, um, so I guess I didn't really understand that. So I should have been penetrating around the lugs. So now I understand why I broke both, broke that, uh, puller. Although my friend gave me another one. Um, I guess if I wanted to, I could have that pressed out now that they're out. Like it's the drum brake backing is kind of captured between the bearing and the hub now. And part of me thinks, go have one pressed out and then you can pull everything apart and then you can kind of put everything back together. Part of me says, just tape up the bearing and paint the backing. Um, the other thing is, I think I'm going to use all the internals from the the hanky or the, the purple, the red car's uh, axle. They're, from what I've seen, they're all in better shape. So I looked at, they're both 276 gears, not a big surprise there. It would have been weird if they weren't. This one was, the one from the red car here was, uh, manufactured date was August of 63. And that one was February of 64. So plausibly, they both are original. So I, I don't suspect the red car is not original. That car wasn't touched. And it's got Timpkin bearings on it, bearings on it. And they look to be in pretty good shape. I'll inspect them more later when they look at them. But everything's there. So, yeah, I'm thinking about using the axles and the, third member from that car and then she's using the housing from the California car because everything else came so parts so badly on that California car like it was just a nightmare and it was leaking from the the seal the axle seal before I pulled it apart so I'll take a closer look I don't know if I want to press those off like it's much ado about nothing I think like I've I've done I've done a lot of due diligence lately <laughs> but We'll see. I'm just happy now that I can get that housing painted because that was why I wanted to do this. Like I, what a nightmare, eh? Just what a nightmare. Like I spent days doing this, days. And I'm glad I was going to pull tomorrow. I was going to pull the axle out of the blue car at long-term storage and add it to this pile. 
but I don't think I have to now. I think between the three cars, I might be short a drum just because I don't like the way the fins are broken off of them. I didn't break them off. Some of them are bent. There's my pile of drums right there. But I think I might be able to make a set of two out of there, but also I probably can get them now that I know that they're not press fit to the uh, ax the hub. That looks like a pretty standard drum. I can get them turned too. I think they'll place the bottom of the hill turns them. Holy crap, though. what a week. So, I'm sorry the video is late. It's just one of those weeks where it's just everything. I just, like, I, after ripping that deck out yesterday, I could barely move. I've done three days of ripping the deck out. And t today, like, I couldn't even get going. I couldn't get going until about 2 o'clock. Like, I helped the kids with their homework this morning, and then I finally got my shit together and get out here about 2 o'clock. And uh, I've just been at her since then. And I finally, finally made some headway on these axles. Like, it's just, I didn't think they were coming apart. Like, I seriously thought I was going to take a uh, grinding wheel or the Sawzall. I fixed the Sawzall, thinking I might have to take a Sawzall to some of this. Not that I don't think it would do very much, but probably a cutting wheel on a grinder would. Oh, I even watched a video of a guy cutting an axle thing, just to see how much tube was there. Uh... Oh, I'm just wiped. Wiped, I am. So, this week I'm going to paint up the housing. I want to paint up the... Finally get the rear springs in. Get the rear springs in, get the housing in, and then maybe even have the third member in with the housing, and then I can figure out what I'm going to do with the axles. So, that's the plan. Could we be sitting on axles? Like, could the axle be sitting on jack stands? This time next week. Stay tuned and find out. Jesus. It's if it's not something, it's something else. But I gotta return a bunch of the stuff I rented. I basically rented everything the guy had to pull shit off of other things. And I was at this point of the snap-on thing. That thing over there. Because the two job puller. Because I thought that was gonna be a thing because it had snap-on and it was old school. But new. No. And I did end up using the slide hammer if you saw. But the hammer of Thor works even better. So uh, thanks for watching this week. Uh, like and subscribe if you like and subscribe. Or subscribe and like. Share with your friends. Share with your dentist. And uh, I'm going to have a beer or six. And try my best not to move. Remember, Stumpy loves you.